If you're struggling for content and who isn't, this is a great training for you. Put on by my friends Nate and Flip with Group Juice. So check it out. And somewhere around here, also there's free, that's right, free, uh, 20 really attention-grabbing headlines that you can put together. Sort of a good little template. So be sure to download that around here as well. And I want to say thanks for watching. Kate and Kimberly here. If you like this, hey, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell around here too so you get notified when I post more of these trainings like this. But this is ultimately day three of training for my friends here at Group Juice. I hope you enjoy it. Kind of a low tech approach to building an online business. Uh, we're probably one of the most boring business owners that you have probably come across or seen in the last few years. Uh, realistically, uh, we don't use, well, I mean, I, I can't lie. We do use some tech funnels, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But at the end of the day, our, our first initial success that we found online wasn't because of tech. We started to need to start adding it as our business grew. Um, and the reason that we kind of do the polar opposite of what a lot of the market teaches is because we see a lot of so getting, man out of the mouth. See a lot of people getting stuck in this this very spot, right? Like, hey, I've been building trying to build out my funnel for the last eight weeks. I've been, you know, writing this automation and none none of it matters. Like, or or they get fixated on like which which funnel builder should I use? And it's like whatever one you want. Like, or like, hey, where should I build a group? Some of you guys have asked that over the last few days, like. <laughs> wherever you want to put your energy um, right so so the main reason why we don't really want to reinforce that to start you don't need a bunch of tech uh, i think it does a really good job at getting people to spin their wheels or absolutely kind of kind of get stuck in the in the the you know building out this system uh whereas we we really want to implore you guys to figure out how to do all the stuff that would actually make that tech viable. So okay. the pillars to your business, your content, obviously, if you guys have been watching us for a few days, we've been talking a lot about content creation. Uh, it could be a mixture of, you know, pictures, written posts, video posts, like a, a, as much content as you can produce, uh, the better off you're going to be. The The thing to remember with the content creation game is it's a, it's an a, accumulation effect. It's not a, it's not one post that's going to change your life, which then also takes the pressure off. Hey, if I completely bomb on this piece of content today, it doesn't matter, right? I could try again tomorrow. Right. So short form videos, TikTok, Facebook reels, uh, long form content written in video, uh, Facebook profile and group. This is kind of our, our two main uh, fortes, right? We, we utilize a lot of short form video to grow or seed longer form content. Uh, your assets, these are like things that you'll want to start thinking about as a, as a whole. Uh, the ability to start building an email list. This is this is an a, important one, which I know sounds contradictory because we're like, hey, don't build out all these things and, and all that. But like you can literally start building an email list in unison with growing a group. Uh, for a long time, we've had people in group juice who are simply sending people to their Facebook group. And that was their landing page. And they were building their email list at the exact same time. Uh, you can also do this for free, something like Aweber, whatever. Uh and then you're and then a community. This doesn't have to be a specific to a Facebook group, but if you're maybe strapped on a budget or you don't want to potentially go learn a different platform, then a Facebook group. Or you could do a school group or like a circle community, right? It doesn't doesn't necessarily matter where you're planning on building this group, but some form of community of your own. Uh and that's like going to end up being phase one that everybody takes with you in your business. Okay. Yeah. Um they become a very p powerful place to build long-standing relationships with people. They grow by themselves eventually. And it's your place. It's your house. It's your rules. Uh, and, and realistically, that's what's going to create the, the security for you guys in, in the long term. If you look at what's usually happening with a lot of newer business owners, uh, it, and I'm not saying that we don't do this to some extent because we do have affiliate programs. We do have people that promote our products. But I'll give you guys a real-time representation of this is where if we have person one who is promoting an affiliate program and they're only sending all of their people to somebody else's world, well, when that person wants new information, they want new things, they want to go do something else, most of the time they're going to swim to the creator of that group and be like, hey, how do I do this? Versus if you as an affiliate are like, hey, you can go get into this program, this product, but you also get access to me and we we prioritize those relationships 
between you and your prospects or your, you and the people you recommend to an affiliate product, they'll come to you, right? They, they will start coming to you. And, and that's what we want to emulate in your own business is your own house and your own community because those relationships that get built from that that world that you create is, is going to be what keeps you around long term. Um, which that's our ultimate goal is to give you guys the framework and the process to play this game for longer because I've seen so many people make a bunch of money and completely vanish and it's, it sucks to watch. Yeah. Um, your sales process, the ability to correct, connect direct, directly with somebody who are engaging in your content uh, slash controlling the actual sales you make. So messenger is a big part of it. Uh, this is like, I think someone asked a question around uh, a group setting yesterday. And this is the one thing I, I would like to think about when, whenever I'm thinking about where I want to spend a lot of time. Does the platform that I want to put my energy into have the ability to DM people? Because this is the the fastest needle mover that you guys can do uh, in your business is talking to someone, seeing where they're at. Like, hey, I appreciate you viewing my story. I hope you're having a kick ass week. Like, you know, I'm currently doing this. Like, what are you involved in? Like, literally just kickstarting relationships, right? At the end of the day, what we're doing in this space is we are building relationships via content creation, DMs, and we are monetizing on those relationships with offers. Without the relationship, you will not make sales. Um, and then a Google Doc. We sell 99% of our products, programs, offers through PDFs. Uh, this is a, has a big been, been a big piece for us for moving sales calls. For those of you guys that don't know, we don't do strategy sessions. We don't do Zoom sessions with people that want to buy our offers. We kind of let them come into our worlds, go through our groups, and then we talk to them and figure out where they're at. And then we usually send them a Google Doc that showcases our product and let them decide, hey, this is a cool thing. Like, how do I learn more? Hey, uh, this isn't for me. Like, you know, I, I was thinking it was going to do something else. And, and then they kind of go on their merry way. But that's kind of the entire flow of what we're actively doing in our own business, minus the Facebook group, because we don't have a public free Facebook group anymore. It's the school group, but uh, same same process and same methodology. All right. Can't get any more simple than that, guys. Look at that handsome guy. Woo! Man. The beard was nice he is back so in the day. So sexy, <laughs> <laughs> big sexy right there. <laughs> Come on, so look, <clears throat> check this out. Like, if you haven't noticed, we're like really big, really big on simplifying shit. Like, we don't want things to be harder for other people or ourselves than they have to be. Okay, so like, the, the more simple you can keep this shit, the better off you're gonna be. It's like it'll be a, your saving grace. Okay. If if your ass has a fucking smartphone, all right, or a laptop, and fucking Wi-Fi connection from Starbucks, worst case scenario, then you can without a doubt grow a business. All right, you can manage a business. You can make sales. You can work with clients. You can help people. You can create shit. All right, a Google account. All y'all probably have a Google account. All right, let's be real. Facebook profile. I know damn. Damn good and well, most of y'all have a Facebook account. TikTok, that shit is everywhere. All right. If you've got those four things on those four bullet points, there's literally no fucking excuse you could tell me of why you're not building a business. I don't or at have least TikTok. a side hustle. All right. You got Facebook though, right? Yes. So you're still good. All okay. right. So literally all you'll need to have a five figure a month business is exactly what I just mentioned using this, this framework. Okay. Affiliate marketing at its core is very basic and simple as well. Like I will challenge you all to go deep into your brains where you have made a purchase of something to where a friend or family member or someone asked you where you got it and you told them where they got it. And then they went and got it too. The only difference in, in that particular memory you have in your brain is you probably didn't get paid for it. Right. Affiliate marketing, you can. All right. And the biggest thing is you're just selling yourself. Like, no shit. What you're doing, what you're getting, what you buy, how you use it, how you live. All right. Again, 
anything that you do in your life can be monetized. I'm pretty sure there's probably a lot of people that would like to spend their time on their back decks like I do every day. I'm pretty sure of it. All right, so here's here's the framework. Here's the here's the real shit. Short form video to get exposure to yourself and your brand. Talk about shit that you like, that you don't like, shit you believe in. Pro tip, push all of them to your own Facebook group where you're giving them more. Okay. The worst thing you can do, and this is like a lie. It's actually the best thing, but I'm going to say it this way. The worst thing you can do is send people to a Facebook group where you actually have other information housed that's going to help them get started and moving because that is going to build the goodwill within you, their trust in you, and the relationship with you. All right. Use your long form content to build deeper connections with people who come into your group or into your world. Without people knowing you, they will not buy shit from you. People only buy from people that they know, like, and trust, or they can relate to. All right, our our uh, our famous person that's on the on the Flate Digital team, Miss Chantel, she only decided to buy from me a year after ignoring me because she found out that I was a pit bull daddy. I got two pit bulls, and I love them to fucking death. That was why she bought from me finally. All right, so it's the simple things that people relate to, which is why we say share as much as you possibly can around your life and business, like your personality. Okay, share that shit. Now, you want to follow up with people who are active in your community on your content. Okay, engaging with your shit, commenting, even liking. If someone likes something where you talk about something specific, shoot them a message. Be proactive here. You don't have to wait for them to come to you, even though that will eventually happen. But you can also be proactive to get the the money needle moving even quicker. Reach out to them. Chat to them. Okay? Have a real conversation with them. That's the biggest thing. Like, don't, don't message them just to pitch them. Message them to figure out who they are. Listen to them. See what they need help with. Right? Don't just respond to respond, but you want to listen actively, see if you can help them. All right. Now you can use a Google document to showcase the product you're selling just as effectively as anything else. All right. Like we, we literally have done some stupid, crazy good shit with Google documents. Okay. And we teach that process to our core clients. We've even showcased it inside of group juice. And there's my subtle hint that if you're not in either one of those, Hit me and Nate up. You should probably get your ass in there. Okay. Now, if you look over here to the to the right side, you'll see a few more folks. Create content. Build an audience of people interested in a specific subject. Sell them products related to the content you're creating. All right. Ours, our clients, students, five and six figure businesses summed up into three lines. Okay. Literally. Um. And this is kind of like piggybacking on what I was mentioning earlier on this uh, this call, right? The major benefits of keeping keeping uh, <laughs> minimal automation slash fancy tech uh, because you can learn the skills over systems, right? Making, using any automation in the future a real possibility, right? I, I see so many people and I don't, like, I'm not trying to say this, like I haven't done this. Like I did this for years in the beginning of my business. Uh, I was trying to exit a business that I'd never even built. You know, and and then when I when things didn't work, it was always a problem with the system with, hey, I need to go rewrite my email sequence or I need to go change the color on my landing page where what I really needed to be focusing on is like getting more attention. Right. Because at the end of the day, most of us, uh, it, myself included, even at times, like we're not even getting enough volume or lead flow to worry about like a color on the landing page. Like it, it's not going to make or break. The business and it, it and I think the hardest part is is those those types of tasks feel very validating like we're moving our business forward you know going and setting up my cover photo or you know spending some time you know writing a new email sequence for my group members or whatever all those things have they feel very uh validating like we're moving our business very far along but but realistically they're they're not um right 
So in a good representation of this, you see people having success all the time with everything they do, right? Some of you guys have probably seen this in your your space. Like if you've been a part of any other thing, you've probably watched, you know, creator X is killing it with this. And then, and then they're like, Hey, I'm going to go change business models and I'm going to go do this. And then they start having success. And the thing that they won't tell you is it's not because of the, the funnel or the automation or the process they built. It's, it's literally just because they've built the skill set. right? They can market the thing. They can, they can, they know how to talk about the thing and it doesn't matter what it is. Um, so Skills are, you will, you will acquire forever, right? People look at me crazy when we tell them we've invested multi six figures into mem mentorship. Last year, we paid $48,000 alone just in coaching. Um, but on the other side of that coin is I we have the knowledge, skill set, tools on how to literally create cash when I want to. And we've been doing that for years, right? If we averaged out our business, it's it's done over... I don't know, like $1,600 a day for 900 days in a row or something. Um, but we wouldn't have been able to do that if we didn't put some time and energy into building skill sets, falling on our face sometimes, right? Like trying stuff in, in building personal brands. Um, now, pre, pre, I wouldn't necessarily like say as far as six figures, but if, if you're like sub $50,000 online, I would recommend keeping your automations and your systems to a minimum for this core reason, right? Because if you can spend some time in the weeds doing some of the stuff that potentially we don't want to do, like let, let's be real, talking to one-on-one -on -one people every single day, is, it's exhausting, right? It's, it, it can be draining and stuff like that. But if we can spend some time doing that type of stuff, down the line when you want to start mixing in some type of email sequences or automated processes, you know how to use them effectively <laughs> because you can transfer what you've been actively doing over into that that sequence, if that makes sense. Um, but the biggest thing is don't try to exit the business before you've built the business. And I know there's this this big thing around, you know, passive income and everybody is like, hey, I want a, a business that makes me money without, you know, having to be present. And like, even to this day, flipping myself, we, we don't work that many of crazy hours. Right. Our, our main workflow is from Tuesday to Thursday. Right. That, that's that's our main work. We we only take client calls between Tuesday and Thursday. Our group juice calls are on Tuesday. Our core calls are on Thursday. And uh like our the main bulk of our work week is condensed into a few days. And uh like when you dial in a process and, and you're focusing on a couple little things, it really doesn't take you that long. <laughs> right. So not at all. Just a bit of a polarizing opinion in the market, right? Everybody wants to um and, and I'll even tangent a little bit more around it. Like I know the appeal of like plug and play templates, done for you sequences and stuff like that, but or like PLR, you know, rebranded products. Now, a lot of the times those are only relevant if you're primarily gonna be promoting that thing. So It'll be hard to have success with anything else if you don't try to learn them, try to learn some of the skill sets, um, which I know sounds extremely cliche, but uh, even to this day, we try to keep our business to a minimum when it comes to automations, moving parts and all this stuff, because it it's like we simply create content, hit people up in the con in the DMs. Like we still DM people. We're, we're talking to people every day. Um, yeah. And uh, so that's it. Yeah, and I'll add this before I cover the next slide. The thing that a lot of people miss is by simply consuming information and then going to do shit for yourself, testing stuff, you inadequately create your own frameworks. If you fuck around and test 10 content styles and like one of them really hit and then you're like, all right, I'm going to double down on this and it starts performing well for you just about every time you post it or you get some results, leads, followers, sales, you just created your own unique shit, your own unique mechanism that you can then leverage. It can become a bonus. It can become an offer. It can become a lead magnet, high value for your audience, et cetera. All right. <clears throat> On to the next one. So here's the flow of like what this will all look like. Okay. Again, simplicity is, is our middle name. Posting short form videos, 
Three to five daily if you can. If you can't, that's totally fine. Don't freak out and start biting your nails. If you can only do one a day, that's great. Okay. Don't worry about going viral. You wanna you wanna prioritize genuine connections and like just share your own shit. I put up a, a Facebook reel the other day and I think it's at eighty thousand views. And all I was showing was work I was doing to my deck. All right. I've also gained some followers from it. Some folks have trickled into the free group. All right. So like, don't worry about having like super polished videos. Um, I've, I've picked up, here's a quick tip for Facebook. They like it when you create from that platform, not like creating a TikTok like I've been doing and then repurposing it over to Facebook. Facebook has rewarded me a lot more as far as views and engagement and shit by creating inside of Facebook. Okay. Just a quick tip. Share your story, things that you're actively doing. Uh, in life and business, direct people into your group. All right. Check out some stuff on your Facebook profile. Anything that you have that you can direct them to that initially gets them towards your own group or community. Picasso, motherfuckers. All right. Posting long form content. This is actually good, too. I have had plenty of people say your posts are too long. Well, my posts ain't for you. On to the next one. See you later. Long form content is going to show you who is really paying attention. And is there for what you are providing. All right. You'll have higher quality, higher caliber folks come off the end of your long form stuff than you will short form stuff. Okay. So this goes for, you know, written posts and longer videos. If someone sticks around and watches a 20 minute video where you were explaining how to do something, they, they fucking like your vibe and they want to learn from you because they stuck around the entire time. Okay. Um, Cycle between things that you're doing, between lifestyle and educational content. Like if you made it this far into the days of this training, you have more knowledge and definitely have the ability to help someone else. I promise you that. But me and Nate can't be like, all right, guys, you've got the you've got the knowledge and the confidence. Now go get your ass out there. That's something that you got to do for yourself internally. OK, um, I love you, honey. Be careful. The uh, the follow up side. This is pretty simple. All right. Also slept on and overlooked. This is like targeted outreach, following up with those who are consuming your content. Right. And, and notice that we're not mentioning spamming people and blasting and saying, hey, buy my shit. Or if you reach out to Sandy Sue on WhatsApp, they'll get your account back. Like, fuck all that noise. It's stupid. It pisses <laughs> me off. I can't stand those fuckers. All right. The goal is just to kickstart a relationship. Just like you go to the bar. You go have a drink or you go to a fucking cookout. It's like you you kind of check the vibes. You might go over and say some small talk and fuck around and find a new friend. Same shit here. We're trying to find new friends that vibe with us and like our style. There's a fuck ton of people online that don't like Flip because he says fuck all the time. You know what I say to that? Fuck them. All right? They're not my people. I mean that in the best way possible. Like, biggest thing here is, like, be yourself. And I'm, no offense to anyone that... You know, it doesn't use profanity in the way that I use it for my vocabulary. It's totally fine. Okay. I've even had some some very Christian people that don't say any swear words hire us, pay us thousands of dollars, and work with us for a long ass time because they saw past my potty mouth and saw the value that we could bring to their business. Okay. Now, the last one here, this is like probably one of the most important. If you want to make money online, you have got to do this. And you have to have a good relationship with the word sales. All right. Think about you going to a job. What you're doing? Selling your time. And you probably ain't getting paid what you want to get paid. OK. Think about any time you go and buy something. Here's something stupid I thought of. It's very random, but I'm going to share it anyway. All of us humans, we buy trash bags to throw them motherfuckers away. Isn't that stupid? We still go buy them, though. It's so stupid. All right. We buy trash bags to throw them away. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Anyways, present offers. <laughs> If you can solve a problem for someone and you feel strongly that you can, make them a fucking offer. Worst thing they can say is, no, not a good time, don't have the money, not right now. But the more you do this, the sooner you're going to get to a yes, that makes perfect sense for me. Where do I sign up? Right? I don't give a shit if I make 99 offers and one person says yes. That's the most important part. 99 people say no. But the 100th person says yes to my $5,000 offer. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm good with that. And then I just found a metric. 
All right, for every hundred people I talk to, I make a five thousand dollar sale. Amazing. I need to try and talk to five hundred people next month. Can I do that? Then I'm going to reverse engineer on how I can make more offers ethically based on leads and engagement and interest from the content I am creating. Ethically. 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 Yeah. That's it. Super important. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) And again, just some some more proof of concept over here on the other side. We've got badass Jill, badass Jeanette. We got a young Nate Ryan right there. We uh we got awards from another seven figure marketer uh that we have a really good relationship with. He sent us some pretty cool awards. And then as you can see, we we have actually had multiple days where we've did more than ten thousand dollars cash collected in a day. That's to me, even even though we've done it a few times, it's still very wild to me that that's even possible. Because it was not that long ago where I was like, fuck, I'm killing myself to make $1,000 a week. And like now we've done stuff to where we've created leverage, helpful information, created curriculums that have actually helped people get results. And we've done, you know, five figures a day in a single day on multiple occasions. All right. That's the predictable profits framework inside of Group Juice. And I'm going to continue to remind people because a lot of folks still have not utilized that actual strategy even though that's exactly how we have done 10k 12k 11k in a day all right oh apparently i'm muted um it's 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 the very framework we use to to close 50 to five thousand dollar deals uh we have a, a wide array of offers with without calls we're not without without doing the song and dance at the DMs or pressurizing people into buying our products, um, which nobody nobody likes that, right? Like nobody wants to have to coerce people into buy their programs, and and I think it starts the relationship off on a bad foot, anyways. Right? People get buyer's remorse; they feel like immediately like, oh shit, I shouldn't have bought this, and then you know you're, you're back next month trying to find a new client versus you know kick the the relationship is beginning after you, <laughs> they buy something from you if you can really reinforce a lot of this stuff we're talking about and uh you know try to make sure your customers even if you're just an affiliate try to make sure your customers have good experiences like if if they're not a good fit to buy a program or they don't have finances don't sell them something right like the number of messages i've been forwarded over the years that are like you know this person is telling me to sell my husband's car to like you know get their five thousand dollar mastermind and like that's that's like come on or like promising people that are in fi- tight financial situations, if they purchase their program, they're going to make a bunch of money. And it's like, it's not happening. Like if, if, if you're in a hard financial position, and you, you can't pay your bills. Like the last thing you should be doing is buying someone's course or program on the pretense of fixing that by next month, because it's probably not going to happen. Right. Or, or everybody's like, Hey, how you're guaranteed to make 10 K profit in May. It's like, it's if you're a brand new beginner. It's, it's not, it's, it's a very slim chance that it will happen, right? Very, very slim, right? Right. Tangential. But rinse and repeat, this is the very framework that we've been using for years. Like we've been telling you guys, we're not, uh, we're not <coughs> the type, we're not your internet marketing gurus who, uh, that, are, that are basically giving you some type of stuff that we don't do. Like I will challenge all of you guys to like, like spy on us, look at what we're doing, pay attention to what we're actually doing in business. And we do everything that we're telling you guys to do, right? We're posting short form content. We're posting group content. We are talking to people and we're sending offers to people. It's what we're doing every day in our own business. We're not here to tell you, go do this because it might work. We're we're simply sharing with you guys the actual model that we use and has worked extremely well for our students. Um, their successes are, are double R's since we ever started teaching our, our model and our process because it was something that we were using in our own business for probably 12 months before we ever even brought a program to market, giving it to people. Um, so quick picture of Demi, badass Demi here. You know, she's done multi six figures at this point. Uh, we helped her write an offer that did 100K in 100 days with her business partner. Absolute badass has changed a lot of other people's lives. Um, but when you dial in all these, these pillars, uh, sales become easy. Right. And I'm, I'm not twisting people's arms to buy my things. I'm not spamming people 
or unethically be baiting people into buying my stuff. Uh, real relationships through content being created and conversations had, right? If you do do this consistently for the next six months, you will make money, right? And, and that's like, I'm saying that confidently because if this is the, this, this is the catalyst consistently, if you do the thing consistently, you will start making sales. <laughs> but the problem is most people don't ever give themselves the opportunity to get consistent or yeah. they don't get focused enough on something to even like start seeing fruits from their labor, right? Which is a very hard thing to do in this, this ever evolving digital marketing space that, you know, changes all of the time. You got new programs popping up, you got new opportunities. And it's like, it's very easy to like, Hey, I'm fucking gung ho on this today. And then three days later, there's something else that looks easier and we jump. Right. So whether you guys are going to use our process, somebody else's process, a model, the thing I want to challenge you guys is to commit to doing that for six months, right? Minimum. Even if you see other person going and doing something different and making a bunch of money with it or whatever, like stay in your lane and, and, and play the game, right? This, this will literally fix 99% of people's problems in business. Um, and, and this is from real-time data of my own self in my own business. And then also working with thousands of students. Um, you know, I've watched people change their business 18 times in six months. Like, why would your audience not be confused around what you're doing? Because you're extremely confused, right? You, you haven't even, one day you're talking about, you know, don't do sales calls, don't do this, don't do automation. And the next day you're talking about AI. Like it's, it's lack of congruency in your overall business. Uh, and it, it will just kind of keep people in this vicious cycle. Um, so building your, your brand online through content creation is a long-term play, right? And, and that's not to say things can't happen faster than six months or uh, you won't start seeing wins in your business faster than that. But the, the ultimate goal is to have a powerful personal brand of your own because that's going to give you the, the real security in business. Uh, realistically, you're going to be able to go out and run an offer on anything that you want because you built those relationships through uh, a personal brand, right? Like a snowball, snowball effect, okay? Rolling down a hill is a good representation of that. Your momentum in business, is a, especially online business, is a very real thing. Uh, when something starts working for you, don't take your foot off the gas. Don't go throw a wrench in the mix. Like, do more of what you just did. Double down. Uh, no quick cash grab, hyped up BS, right? Obviously, if that's your forte, then that's your own prerogative with your business, but we don't we don't play into that whole thing. Um, but it will 100% set you free when you work for it. And I'm a, I think this is a perfect time. The reason I asked if you hadn't heard Demi's story is because it shows like the true power in everything that we're talking about, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this won't take me but a couple of minutes. I think me and Nate are doing pretty good as far as time goes for the training. But a lot of people started with LM, the $7 thing. Okay. I, I went through it. I bought the upsales, stayed stuck for a while, et cetera. Learned some stuff, but it, it didn't get me what I thought it was. Okay. And I was hard sold on the $2,500. i am not knocking it. Okay. But don't get that twisted. But Demi had also went through it. And here's, here's the quickest snapshot I can give you. She saw my content on TikTok, decided to join my group, and she didn't answer my questions. All right. Now, most people don't let people in if they don't answer the questions. I still let folks in and I just message them. So, hey, you didn't answer my questions. That started the conversation. Okay. Within, within 10 days, I found out who Demi was, what she'd struggled with, where she was at, and I, I felt a true uh, a true calling that I could help her, okay? Now, she had only did $65 in commissions over five months with, with LM, okay? She wasn't feeling it anymore, just felt out of alignment, et cetera. Now, I made Demi an offer for three grand to work with her to get my, my then affiliate product and then it got her into beta for group juice and it got her into coaching. Okay. Nate, Nate and I then partnered up shortly after and Nate kind of adopted it. And it's, it was, it was just an awesome thing. Now within, I think it was around nine, 10 months, Demi crossed a hundred thousand dollars. 
All right. It's not normal. Okay. I'll be the first to tell you that. But what I can tell you is it is possible because I pushed her so fucking hard to get out there and put herself out there and do things completely different. And I remember telling her, I was like, look, if you listen to me and ask me questions and do what the fuck I tell you, shit is going to change for you. And Demi asked more questions than any other client that I've ever had in my entire career online. And because of that, she asked us questions yesterday. <laughs> she sure did. All right. And because of that, she was able to do very, very well. Okay. So this is, this is like one of those success stories that you need to hear because this shit is fucking possible guys. All right. A lot of other people that we've helped have also done this and crossed six figures. All right. We got, we got another guy. He's full time at a job that he loves because he's passionate about it. And he makes anywhere from, you know, 50 to 75,000 extra dollars every year on top of his job. All right. He's been, he's been a paying client of ours for more than two years now <clears throat> and rightfully so. So I just wanted to share this really quick. Went from $65 in five months to over a hundred thousand in less than a year. Okay. Think about that for a second. How do I do that? Hire us. <laughs> <laughs> no. It, and, okay. And, 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 and the thing to think about is like, <clears throat> and, and the relationship, we, we, we really try to our best to uh, prioritize relationships. If, if you guys haven't picked up, like we're big on the relationship piece. Like we've met Demi in person two times. She hung out with us at a beach house last week for seven days. Uh, <clears throat> she, they ended up locking arms with her business partner in in our coaching program. And then they turned around and created an offer that, you know, did multi six figures online. We did a promotion with them that did, you know, insane numbers. Um, I don't, I don't quite remember. I think it was like 120 something sales in three weeks or something like that. It was, it was wild. Um, but the biggest part that I want to reinforce is the relationship piece, right? Where the relationship begins after the yes, after somebody buys from you, whether you're an affiliate, whether you're selling uh, digital products, anything, the relationship starts after they pay you, right? A another good real-time example of this, I sold somebody a hundred dollar affiliate offer, like a hundred dollar product. Um, and we ended up working with that person for years who paid us a retainer every month to work with us. Also met her in person twice, right? Like the relationship is, is, is what we're actually building here. Um, and is the thing that we need to keep at the forefront of our mind which is the polar opposite of what most marketers will tell you. Absolutely. Uh, it's, it's turn and burn clients, you know, get the sale and then, and then that's it. But like, which obviously works to some extent, but it, in our experience is a very stressful way to end up running your business. If, if we can really reinforce you guys, especially in the beginning to focus on the relationship piece, it, it, it can change everything about your life, right? Like without the relationships, nothing else happens like we okay. have our, our own merch that literally says relationships over revenue um should have wore my my group two shirt today that's all i ever wear but whatever um <laughs> uh today's action task uh so i want you to uh <clears throat> drop a post right inside of the group tell us telling us what you would like your business to look like uh if you could build it exactly how you want um we can help you build it without these complicated tech fancy funnels or automation hyper aggressive sales tactics uh, that include sales calls or cold DMs uh, or having to rely on algorithms or viral content to consistently make sales. Right. So, so what, if you had to envision how you would like to operate your business, what you would like that to look like, potentially who you would like to work with potential clients, uh, customers, uh, maybe a financial number, uh, what, what would that actually look like? And that's kind of what I want you guys to reiterate inside of, uh, the community collective posts today. Obviously, everybody's at their own race. Everybody's at their own stages in business. But I think getting a clear picture onto what we want to do or where we want to be, it gives us something to work towards. Um, you know, for a long time, me and Flip had goals of like hitting, you know, 30 people in our coaching program. And then we worked on that for a little while. And then we did that. And then we set a new target or uh, these don't have to be finite things you want, but what are some of the pieces that you would like to have or not have 
in your brand. 